Hello Star Wars fans and Star Wars friends around the world and welcome to another video. Well this is the third of the Star Wars Rogue One Gillette sets here in the UK and uh, absolutely fantastic sets. Check out my other videos to see the other two, um, the Stormtrooper and the Death Trooper. This is the Rebels set. So I'm going to take you around the packaging first of all and then I'll show you what, what comes inside. Right. So there you go, you have this amazing, here you go, look, here's another one. You have this amazing Rebel pilot helmet. I'm going to go really close on this. If you uh, check out my other videos you'll see the Death Trooper helmet close up and it's it, it, it's like this. It's such. It's so used, and it's. This has seen some. It's got battle scars. Absolutely fantastic. It's giving me goosebumps. Um, yeah. So you have. Uh, oh my god. This is almost too exciting for words. Um, these. Uh, the first of the jets. The Gillette sets. The Stormtrooper one back here. This came out um, two or three weeks before Rogue Friday here in the UK, and uh, it was the first. Rogue One piece of merchandise to make it onto the shelves um, here in the UK and uh, an incredibly exciting time. Uh, one of my Twitter friends uh, pointed it out and said, look, have you seen this? And uh, so I'm not going to give the whole story behind it because you need to check out the Stormtrooper video and then you have the whole story. This is about the um, the Rebels, the Rebels um, set here. So fantastic packaging, it's really cool matte black. On the, oh, <laughs> on the side there you've got this kind of it's like it's, obviously it's orange but around there around the edging you see there's uh, kind of stitch work so and there's the rogue one logo there on the rebels insignia so uh it looks kind of like denim so it could be part of a uh part of a pilot uniform perhaps that's what I think and on the back there same as the other packs you have there's nothing I thought they might have put a bio for the film just something brief about um, about the the rebellion and the uh, kind of a very nothing no sort of spoilers just a little bit of a bio but they didn't so uh, there's lots of information about um, safety information product information sort of uh, addresses and ingredients and stuff very nice feature again they've done with the barcode uh, and the next wing and on the bottom there, there's the uh, Gillette, the best a man can get, or the best a rebel pilot can get. So that's it for the uh, outside of the packaging. It says a cardboard sleeve, so just like the other sets. And here's the inner. And in there you've got a can of uh, shaving gel, a razor with a, a stand and a blade, and two extra blades in the case there. So nothing sort of uh, too special about the inside. Now the outside, this is the end of the box that you see on the, uh, as it slides into the um, sleeve, this is the um, end that closes the open end. So very cool image of the, uh, the front of the Rebel pilot helmet. And uh, there's some like sort of blueprint style pictures on the back. So nice and close on those. Incredibly cool. I love this. This is this as Star Wars collectibles go. This is right up my street. So I'll slide that back into the sleeve, and that's that's how it looks once it's back inside the sleeve. There. Yeah. So as Star Wars collectibles go, absolutely. This is this is my thing. This is. Uh, as you guys know that regularly watch my videos, I do collect all the uh, the figures, the ships, the vehicles, but. Um, I mean, they're cool and I love them and they have a fantastic place in my collection, but the uh, the consumables, the <laughs> this sort of stuff really does, it really does excite me and a fantastic intelligent packaging, which is just so cool, just absolutely loving it to bits. Um, there are a couple of variations on the boxes, um, which I don't have yet, but will do in time, but uh, it's one of those things, these aren't going to be around for long, so um, I think we're probably looking up to Christmas, maybe just after Christmas, and then these will start to sort of vanish from the shelves and they'll be harder and harder to get hold of. So if you do, I mean it's the beginning of November now, so if you do want to get get them all and get um, get good packaging as well, because the longer they stay on shelves, the, the ropier the packaging gets. 
So, uh, so if you want to get the get the good stuff, get out there now and get these. Um, absolutely fantastic. I know um, some of my uh, YouTube and Twitter friends in the states. They've been sending me pictures of, um, of the US versions, which uh, differ quite a bit to the UK versions. And it's one of those rarities where I feel the f <laughs> it's pretty much a rarity when we get a better a piece of packaging design in the UK than you do you guys in the States do. And well that's down to um well that's down to um sort of packaging issues or um, safety issues on packaging or packaging standards, I don't know, but um who knows. But uh yeah we definitely from what I've seen from photos that people have been sending me, we've definitely done done a you know, really good job on these over here. So uh, absolutely love these. I, I wish they'd do more. So, um, and I, I hope Gillette carry on the uh, the um, association and the brand association well on into episode eight. That would be so cool to see what they would do. But uh, there are so many more flying pilot helmets and so many more stormtroopers and trooper helmets they could be doing. So, um, yeah. Oh dear. But that sounds awful. Cause it makes it now <laughs> sound like I'm greedy and what is more. But I do. So. It's, it's something very cool and uh, yeah, I definitely need more of these. So check out my other videos and you'll see the, uh, the Death Trooper close up and you'll see the Storm Trooper close up as well. And uh, let me know what you think. I know this, these are not everyone's cup of tea. So <laughs> yeah, if you want to click, <laughs> click don't like <laughs> or click dislike, me, yeah, fine, do that. But um, if you enjoyed the video, click like, uh, share it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and also follow me on Twitter. And uh, you can follow me on toy shops and chemists and I'll show where the good stuff is. So um, until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching and may the force be with you. Bye for now.